Hey everyone, how's it going today? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. We are, of course, picking up where we left off, and that was with um, material science, mostly underway and getting close to being done. Now, what we're gonna be doing in this episode is we do need to work on getting a rocket up here with all of our materials. We also need to work on getting some trains in over here, just like we do with our other grid squares. And we don't have too many things that we need. We're gonna need um, cosmic water. We are gonna need chemical gel. And then, let's see, thermal fluid, significant data, thermal fluid, contaminated cosmic water, scrap, and junk data. Now we do make a shoot ton of scrap here. This is making roughly just less than 4,000 scrap a minute. And that is quite a lot actually. Um, so I think we're gonna have to have a second scrap train because all of our existing um, squares, they use a lot, or not use, they make a lot of scrap already uh, to the point where this train, I think, might get overwhelmed, we'll see. Uh, but definitely with this square, we're, I mean, I think the train by itself would have a hard time doing all of this, um, handling all of this scrap. So we're definitely gonna have to add another scrap train, but that's fine. Um, what we'll probably do is um, we will, I had mentioned adding like uh, stations and stuff in here. Maybe we'll just add it, one of the stations will be another scrap train and that one will be a double headed train. Cause I'm not sure how we're gonna get trains in here. And maybe we can do trains in like this, have the stations and then just roll out that way. I hope that there's enough room for that. So what I am going to do right now is I'm going to get rails set up here for trains coming in. I am going to get our constant combinator set up with all the values that we need. And then together we will set up a rocket, a new rocket silo down on Novice. So when I'm ready to do that, I will be right back. All right guys, so we are going to set up another rocket here and Trying to think how I want to do this. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and we're going to put it right over here. You can fit another rocket silo here for sure. It's starting to get pretty cramped in here um, and I'm not exactly sure where we're going to go after this, but that's all right. All right, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. And then what we're going to do. We are going to place one of these down. Oh, we can get rid of this, these set of pipes as well. Now we do need to hook up the the fuel somewhere. Let's see. Um, where's the easiest way to do that? Not a great way to get through here, huh? All right, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna do this, do this, then we're gonna go like this. Okay, surely this will work. Yes, nice. Okay, cool. And then we do need to, uh, before we go anywhere, let's switch this to material science. And then we can power that up. Oh, we don't have a requester warehouse down there. Well, time to make a uh, quick little building doing that. because we do kind of need that. All right, requester warehouse. And we're gonna do one stack only. All right, cool. That'll get it filled in eventually. Um, I did forget to do these constant combinators, but let me tell you what I did do. Um, I did set up all of these stations here. They're kind of working already. Um, do have a little bit to do still, but for the most part, they're ready to work. And then um, I also set some preliminary uh, area up here for stations. And obviously we still have enough room. I mean, there's plenty of room over here for science, right? Like we have this whole block if we really need it, which is unlikely. So um, we have plenty of room and this still can expand a bit more down this way if we really needed it to as well. Also somewhat unlikely, I think, but um, 
I think that it's good enough for um, for what we have. Um, and again, you know, there's plenty of room to expand it if needed. So that is all that. Um, now, science is not really working here. And why is it not working? That is the real question. Mm, missing thermal fluid. Okay, so I think that thermal fluid is starting to become a bottleneck. Oh, shoot. Uh, I need more of these thermal radiators. I thought I had done that at one point, and I think I had, but I must have been on a bad save because... Um, yeah, so I think that we're pretty much just waiting on that. So let me fill this area in here, and we are going to copy this. Let's see. Copy this. There we go. Okay. Then we can fill this in right here. And then we can hook. Let's see. This is the warm stuff here. This is the warm stuff here. And then we need to hook up the cool stuff as well somehow. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that. And we are going to use the new pylon substations that I uh, am making. And we are going to clean up a lot of this stuff. Okay. There we go. Check it out. So this is the new pylon substation. I did start bringing up some holmium solenoids to be able to make that. And then what we're going to be able to do with this is hook that up there. Ew. That is kind of gross, isn't it? Well, we can just do that. That's fine. Okay, so that's one set. And then I hope I was hoping that we could fit... Alright, getting rid of those. I was hoping that we could fit um, another set right in here. And let's see. Oh, I also need to... Do this. Oops, we don't need two stacks of that, but we would like one. Uh, I may have to increase our production area by a lot, actually, but we'll have to see about that shortly. Um, let's put this down here. I don't know what's up with the bots. They seem a little bit slow at the moment. Um, and then for pipes, we can fit... Let's see. Uh, hello? What is this pipe? This is... Okay, we can fit that there. We can do that again. And then for the warm stuff... We can fit one there. We can get rid of this. And we can run this... Right down here. Okay. That should help us out, at least. Um, like I said, I think that... Uh, pretty sure that thermal fluid is the, the bottleneck at the moment. So... Um, increasing that is going to be good. We are probably going to have to... Maybe we're going to have to do another one of these as well. But, okay. Anyways, moving on. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set up this constant combinator so that we can get a rocket up here with all the materials for the material science. That way we can actually get going on um, some actual material science. Obviously, this stuff is kind of close to ready, but it's just going to be a matter of hooking up what, what's down here to up here and what comes in to up here. And also, I think that... The only other thing that we're going to have to do is we are going to have to make plasma stream and unbarrel some lube. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, yeah, that's it, I think. Just those two things. And then deal with all the byproducts, right? So uh, give me just a minute for that, and uh, then I'll be right back with you. All righty, guys. So given all of these different materials that we're going to need, I have made some requests 
And um, at, for the moment, I was multiplying them by zero so that we would have nothing coming back. But for now, I'm thinking let's try for, because there's a lot of resources. I'm thinking let's try for four minutes worth. Um, and so that's gonna change things. And down here, <laughs> once we get a uh, robo port there, this thing, Oh, we need to hook this up too. Whoops. Took that up. There we go. Now this should have requests. There it is. Ooh, we're out of Immersite crystals. That is not good. All right, that's going to be something I have to fix. I think we're just out of Immersite in general. Um, so that's going to be a major issue that I'm going to have to see to. But that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll figure that out. But yeah, so I have to, I don't know, I have to look at that. But anyways, so we've got a rocket that will be ready here shortly to come up for material science. Um, yeah, we haven't gotten Immersite in a while, actually. If we look at production graph, Immersite. Wow. This was six hours ago that we got any Immersite. Oh boy. Okay, it's been... Oh, here we go. Okay, let's see. Last time we produced Immersite was nine hours ago. Well, there's that. Okay, so that means I have to <laughs> really have to go fix that. Um, we had a lot of uh, crystals. Well, we do have a little bit here that I'll send. But um, we had a lot of crystals and plates left over that we just hadn't used yet. So I guess I didn't even really notice it. But... All right, so that's definitely something I have to fix here. Um, and we're gonna have to, I'm gonna wait for that um, because this we're not gonna be able to do anything without Immersite Crystals. Um, so actually, I am gonna work on that. So I'm gonna be heading back to the surface here, heading over to our other planet, working on getting some Immersite mined out. And um, yeah, once I've done all that, then uh, we'll pick up where we left off. Okie dokie, so I uh, spent a while, actually, this has probably been a couple hours-ish of gameplay, maybe not that long, maybe like an hour of gameplay, uh, getting things back to where they should be. Um, I worked on Immersite, um, as you saw in the time-lapse, but I also worked on a couple other things. I uh, did some module upgrading around the base. I um, fixed some oil issues that we were having and I did a handful of other like small things just to keep the base up but as you can see here we're basically there on the Immersite crystals it's still a little bit slow and we had a rocket crash just a minute ago so that's why you can see this flurry of activity getting the Immersite back to where it needs to go um, so yeah lots going on I, and actually I, I love this view like seeing all the bots doing all their things and I just think it's cool so uh, this rocket though is pretty much full I mean not really. I guess there's like a hundred slots left, but we're gonna get going with it. And I know that I could um, make things way more compact with using iron um, ingots and copper ingots. And maybe we'll do that in the future. For this moment, I'm not going to just because I've already done this. And I didn't think of it until just like a few minutes ago, but Okay, so we're gonna switch this to be launch on green signal or when cargo full. And it's not gonna be green yet because we're still waiting on a few more crystals. And let's see, do we have a train coming in with them? Probably not, honestly. Uh, let's see over here. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go. Um, this is gonna be a while still, so that's fine. And let's make sure that we're going to the right place. We've done that before, gone to the wrong um, landing pad, which would not be good. We're going to material science, which is what we want. So let's, uh, do I need anything else <laughs> real quick before I go? Um, I don't think so. I think we're good. I've got, yeah, I mean, the rocket's already bringing everything up that we need. So here we go. As always, let me grab a quick drink of coffee while we're on our rocket flight. Delicious. All right, here we are. 
Coming in hot. Boom! We got resources. All right, so I haven't, I had not set up filters yet for all these, so let's do that. This is gonna be plastic. Plastic. Iron. And last but not least is rare metals. There we go, bing, bang, boom. Over here we've got copper. And immersite crystals. All right, so that's all we needed for the material testing packs and there we go. All right, so we're making some material testing packs. Those are gonna get output apparently just on one side of the belt, which is actually fine, I think. Um, also, we need to speed this up even more, which is kind of nuts because it's already like insanely fast, but ready? <laughs> that is nuts how fast that is, um, I, but I, you gotta love it. All right, so that's that. Um, we also do need to get a few more things out of here. So first things first is iridium ingots. So let's do that here. Iridium ingots, boom, boom. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need locomotives we'll do over here and tanks we'll do over here. So those are gonna be for the next tier of, um, of science, which we don't even have unlocked yet. Um, so we're gonna do that over there. Um, and let's see, we'll do maybe lube barrels here. Boom, boom. There we go. Um, that was easy. And then glass and steel and concrete. Shoot. Because uh, we're going to have to get those up there. Well, I mean, I think we're just going to do it down here. It's a little bit of a pain, actually. Uh, let's see. Glass. We'll do one steel. And how much concrete do we have, actually? One, two, two. Oh, we can just look here, can't we? 400 concrete. All right, we're just gonna do one inserter with the concrete, I think. And that is right over here. There we go. Okay, I think I got everything. And it's slowly but surely being filled. All right, so I grabbed a pylon substation and check this out, this thing can power a ginormous area. So we're gonna plop one right down there and it's gonna power literally everything over here. And then we still need to get all of like the secondary things in here. So we need to get plasma, we need to get the um, the fluid. And actually, you know what? Just realized we can get rid of this. And I don't know how we're gonna get the, the stuff in here. Uh, maybe we'll move this down one. Here. And then Oh shoot, I don't, have, I don't have anything for space. Eee, I gotta go grab that. Um, but, let's see, over here we need steel, iridium, lube. Yeah, so we still have a decent amount of work to do, actually, it feels like. Um, let me go grab the things really quickly, though. Um, like belts and, you know, pipes and all those kinds of things that I dropped off and, and never picked up again. See, they should be right over here, I think. It's where I left all my stuff. So let's grab that, 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 that. There we go. Just gotta grab a little bit of everything, you know? Um, I don't need this. I do need, I do need plasma generators. Let's see, how much do I need? Um, plasma. Do I have a plasma train? No, it's a chemical gel train. Okay, that's what I thought. I, I don't know why I thought I had a plasma, okay. Boom, boom. Okay, I only need one building doing it. Oh, I forgot lithium. Oh my god. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, I gotta grab lithium. Let me put that request over there so we need 80 lithium requested. Not very much, but still, I can't believe I forgot that. Let's do that. Um, here. 80 lithium. There we go. Um, I'll just grab some from one of the other uh, tiles, or one of the other places doing plasma, like right over here. I'll just grab some, just grab some lithium from there. I'm sure that'll last us, um, a little bit. Boom. All right, that'll be fine. Okay. Um, so we got that. All right. And then let's see. Um, did I, did I forget anything else? No, I don't think so. 
We are going to need this cosmic water, which is a little poopy, but whatever. Okay, um, I think I've got everything. Let's grab, though, some belts. I've got a lot of pipe, or a decent amount of pipe at least. Let's grab half of a stack of this and half a stack of splitters. Did I miss splitters over here? I sure did. And then undergrounds. We need undergrounds. So let's grab half a stack of that. Put one back so that I have even numbers everywhere. Because this only makes one at a time, right? Yeah. Classic. Okay. I think I've got everything now. Uh, sorry, that was a, a lot to do and grab. But we've got stuff now, which is good. We've got a plasma generator, which we did need anyways. Um... So let's see where we can put this stuff. So, I don't need plasma for any of this stuff, right? No. Okay, just making sure. Okay, um, how the heck do I want to do this? It's kinda, kinda stinky, huh? All right, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to add plasma to this filter. And we're gonna put plasma on here, or lithium, whoops, lithium. Lithium is what I meant to say. Okay. And then, since it's only over here, let's see if we can do a plasma generator right here. I don't think this is going to get in the way of these belts. We'll figure it out if it does seem to be in the way, but it shouldn't be a too big of an issue. Okay. And then we do need to um, speed this up. Do this right here. Boom. Plasma. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll have a belt going this way, right? We'll have a space loader here. And then we will just keep a belt nice and tight against this one. And that'll just run lithium over. go boom okay and we'll let's throw this lithium in there so that it can head on over there all right so that's gonna make plasma for that so we should actually be starting to get those cards out so that's one thing done uh, <laughs> looks like we need a bunch of platforms still um, but we can start hooking these things up so let's see this needs steel iridium and lube and this needs concrete iridium and lube all right so what is this missing Oh, chemical gel. Duh. There we go. Okay. We have to hook up. So we need fluids for both of these, and then we need to have fluids out for these. Let's actually do a little bit of a train stop. If I can find one. Whoops. There we go. Um, not that train stop. Shoot. We're gonna do this train stop. We're gonna do it like this, I guess. And this does fit in here really nicely, actually. Um. But, let's see. This is not... Let's quickly rename this, because we don't want it to be that. Uh, we want it to be... Dirty Cosmic Water. Or Contaminant Cosmic Water. Pick up... Okay, and then let's quickly get rid of all of this. Boom. And then we're just gonna have, let's see. I don't know. I hope that works, probably works. Okay, and a tank right there. Perfect. Okay, we do need a little bit of track though, so let's do that. And I'm wondering why my base is not really making any science right now. It's probably because it's waiting on rockets that just aren't going to um, take off ever. So we're going to have to check on that. Also, let's put one stack of this back so that I can grab one stack of rails. And then let's... Let's do some problem solving together, shall we? So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the rockets really quickly and see what's up and why they're not. Also, this does not need to be a chain signal. This just needs to be a regular signal. Um, well, can't insert. So let's just get rid of some of this stuff. 
Um, and while my bots are doing that, let's take a look at Novice to see what's up with these rockets. So let's see, we got energy rocket here, right? No. Um, energy rocket here, no. I always forget which one's which. This one? Yeah, this is the energy one. Okay, so what's up with this? Why is this? This one's ready. Just not enough stuff to qualify it. Okay. Um, I think that I'm at the point where I don't care too much about this. So we're just going to set this to like 300. I don't know. And same, I think, with this one. Not, not this one. Wait, maybe it is this one. Wow, why do I need so much military science? Where is my military science? Oh, my ears. Why is military science not getting picked up? <clears throat> I am not 100% sure. Also, what is this belt? My belts are a mess in here. I should just really clean that up at some point. But anyways, um, not that one. Where's my material, not material science. Where's my astro science? It's down here, right? Yeah. Same for this one. Let's just set this to like 400. Okay, so that should start science working again, hopefully. Um, and I really picked this stuff up for down here. Um, do we have a chemical gel? Yeah, we have a little bit. Nice. And do we have cold thermal fluid? No, why? Why did no one deliver cold thermal fluid? Hello? Oh, I probably just have no cold thermal fluid. Right? No, I do. Full cargo inventory or time past 30 seconds. Okay. Um, I still have like no cold thermal fluid left over after that though. And this thing is working overtime, but still can't quite make enough probably. So what we're gonna do is, shoot. We are gonna fill this area in over here. And then we're gonna place down another one of these, like right over here. And we're gonna also have to do this. Oops, shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, let's try this right here. And, oh, we've got a substation over here, nice. Okay, and then we also need to do this right here. Right? Oh wait, let's go. Oh no! Shoot! Uh Ah oh, dang it. It's gotta go right there. Dang it! That was a mistake. Alright. Um well it's not sped up. Or it's kind of sped up, but not really. <sighs> okay, and then we also need to do chemical gel. Thankfully, there is chemical gel right here, though. So that's pretty easy. Boom. That's chemical gel. Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> okay, now it's chemical gel. <laughs> Alright, I think that's everything then, right? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, cool. Alright, so that's working slowly but surely. Um, also, I think I need to change this. This needs to be like 3,000. These need to be working a little bit more, I think. Okay, are all these working? I think so. Yeah, like that. I'm thinking that maybe the pipe throughput is kind of bad because they should, they sh I feel like they should be working more than they actually are. So let's do... Let's do this. Okay. Hopefully that helps a little bit with pipe throughput. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just kind of bad, I think. So, all right, anyways, uh, back to what we were doing. Okay, so we've got cold thermal fluid there. Nice, love to see it. And now let's fill this whole area in with platform okay 
So I think that I'm going to finish filling this area in so you guys don't have to watch this tediousness. And uh, then once I'm done filling this area in, then hopefully we'll be able to finish up the rest of material science pretty, pretty quickly. So I will be back once I am done with that. Okay, so we are back again, and hopefully this is the last bit that we have to do here. Um, all right, so we've got one research server, which is going to be not enough, apparently. <laughs> okay, why do I need two research servers, and in the past I needed... Oh no, I guess I did need three in the past. What am I thinking? Didn't I need three for both of these? Three, three, yeah, I did need three. Okay. Um, shoot, well, I'm gonna have to grab those here, but that's all right. Um, <clears throat> in the meantime, let us try and finish this off. So, first things first is, I do have some chemical gel and some thermal fluid down here, which will help me very greatly. Um, and let's see if we can do this. I was like going into satellite mode to try and plan like for this stuff. Dude, this is like one tile off, isn't it? <laughs> That is a little bit annoying. Um, okay, so we can do this, right? It really is one tile off, isn't it? Or two tiles, I guess, in this case. So go here, here, and then we can go underground. Okay. And then um, we are going to have to try and get all the way down to our plasma generator. So let's see, can this fit in here? Not really, but it can fit here. So let's do this all the way down if we can. That's gonna be too long. This is why I like going into satellite mode is because I can just do this and uh, makes planning it very nice and easy. And we can continually you know, keep getting shorter pipes. And that's too long, so we'll just finish this off with some straight pipes there. And we also need a straight pipe here. And then let's see, we need underground here. And then we need, oops, it's not what I wanted to do. Uh, let's go seven. Yep, all good. And then underground it here. Okay, great. What I also need to do is finish extending the network out here. Um, and dude, I swear, every single time I go to look for the robo ports, they are the hardest things to find. Like, it doesn't matter when I'm trying to look, like, it it just always is difficult. Um, okay, not enough room here, that's fine. We'll just build this out really quick. Grab that, there we go. And that will extend the network. Boom! Okay, so bots will finish building all these pipes for us, which will be nice. Uh, at least they will here momentarily. go. Alright, bots will, like I said, finish building all those. Then we need to do a very similar thing for the thermal fluid, and of course the thermal fluid is coming in on this side but needs to go to the other side, which is fine, but of course I didn't plan that one ahead. Um, that's alright. Alright, let's go right here. Just fill this out a little bit. Um, and then again we're going to jump into planning mode here. So, uh, we are going to need two sets of pipes for this, <clears throat> excuse me, because we do need the warm thermal fluid coming out, right? So let's actually, I think we should come in probably like right about here-ish, and we can just do this, I think, and then maybe here, we can actually do this, I think. Alright, so... We'll do it like this, right? So this is gonna be, uh, let's see, so we're gonna go nine here, one, two, three, underground. I keep hitting N and I mean to hit, not N, I mean to hit E. And it totally throws me off. Okay, boop, boop, boop. there we go. And then right over here is one, two, three, nine, underground. And then this is 
I think that a nine can fit there, yeah. Nice. That works out very nicely. And that's gonna be for the warm stuff. And then over here, we need to do some undergrounds like this. I think this works, right? Um, seven? Oh, we can do a nine there. And then we've got another nine. We're gonna stagger them here so that we don't run into any issues. And there we go. That is that. And then we just need to finish off getting them up here. This is like the tedious part of doing this, right? Like, I mean, I don't mind doing it, but of course this is definitely the more tedious portion of this whole process um, of getting all the sciences done is all the piping, honestly. <laughs> okay, so which one's which? This outer one is the cold stuff. Uh, this does need to come over here. It's a little bit awkward getting this in here, actually. Um, Okay, there we go. And then finally we can finish it off just like this. Okay, that's the cold stuff. Then the warm stuff is gonna go like this. Oh, and actually it lines up very nicely there. Um, there we go. Sweet. And that is, <laughs> how are we gonna do this? Uh, let's see, this can, Oh no, it can't go there. Are you joking me? Alright, this has got to move. Uh, dude, everything... <laughs> I swear, it's like... Every time I think I leave enough room, it's just not enough room. <laughs> okay, let's put those in there. And let's also get rid of all these. They take up so much space in the inventory. Okay, now I do need to deal with... Um, couple things still. So I do need to deal with all this contaminated scrap. Let's see, where, where do we want the cards to go? Um, trying to think of the best place to do this. And maybe, maybe we'll do the, um, yeah, I think we're going to do both sets of the catalogs, like maybe right here. Um, especially because we've got all the thermal fluid here anyways, it's going to make it nice and easy. So, to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this right down here. Do, 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 and very nice, it's got both sets of cards already, like I said. Um, so, let's see, we'll bring this right over here. This then, we are going to bring all the way down here, and then this is gonna work on getting to the trash site. And what is picking this up? Right here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have to come like this way. I love that uh, they added the feature and it was, I mean, it was a while um, till they added it, but where you could just drag across and it would put the, um, the undergrounds. My only complaint about that feature though is I wish that like it would always do the max length if possible, right? Um, to save resources. Classic Factorio player wanting to save resources, right? But that's that's my only complaint. Other than that, it looks great. Holy crap, that is a lot of contaminated scrap. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, that is a poop ton of contaminated scrap. Um, it's probably just going to continue happening. But hey, all this stuff is working. This is not working. Oh, it's already filled up. Nice. That works out very nicely. So yeah, I think that these cards are going to be coming in. Coming in hot or cold. Haha. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all jokes aside, let's see if we can finish this off here. So huh, what do we need to do? We need to get iridium and then concrete and steel. Um, let's see, the iridium we can do right here. This is going to be iridium ingots. And should I just turn it into plate here? Yes. Yes. Yes, I should. I, I was going to say maybe we should turn it into plate maybe over there, but I think that turning it into plate here is fine. So 
let's go loader out and turn some plate. Now, um, how much? Mm, let's let's see how many buildings I need doing this. Oh, I need a I need a manufacturer doing it actually. Okay, scrap that. Uh, I don't have a manufacturer on me, but we'll just do this. Bots will come and build it. Okay. Um, and then this will come out here. Um, okay. It is going to have to come down this way anyways. Okay. So here's Iridium. Ah, oh, shoot. How are we going to do this? Okay. We are going to have to split it here. It's going to... because. It's gonna have to go here and here. Okay. Um, but the one complication, of course, is that these things output um, iridium plates a quarter of the time. So we need to do something like this. We need to do output priority here, go to iridium plates. And then that needs to get joined in back over here with priority priority um, and that could be on both sides of the belt so actually we can't do this um, shoot how do we do this uh, I think we need to get it all on one side of the belt right so it'd be like this I think so here's how we're gonna do this it's got to come here Okay, so that means we need to make sure that we have Iridium on the left side of the belt here. So input priority here. And let's do this. Let's make it easy. There we go. Iridium, nice. So that's where the Iridium is gonna go. This finally got built. And we can just do that. And do this. And I can also get rid of all these plates that I have in my inventory and all these ingots. Cool, love to see that. All right, so that's that. This is gonna be scrap here. Um, let's see, we can, we can bring the scrap right through here. I'm gonna move this just one square over. Okay, that's scrap. And we can join that in there. Go. All right, last but not least. There we go. Last but not least, we do have our cards here. Oh, shoot. Shoot. I messed this up. This should not all be Iridium. It needs to be split. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, needs to be split like this, uh, which means I need to pick up this whole stupid belt. Uh, actually, I can pick up just this one side. Okay, there we go. Lots of iridium, but it's fine. Let's see if we can get rid of it. Got rid of most of it anyways. Okay, and that means that. Let's also underground this to make things easy. Let's also underground this to also make things easy. And then um, what we're going to do is we are going to join a belt down here with the steel and concrete. So we're going to have, let's see, steel here, steel there, and this is going to be concrete here. Then we're gonna join these together. Nice, that works out pretty nicely. Um, this is gonna come down here. It's gonna be a little bit messy, but that's okay. I, I revel in the mess. Okay. 
There we go. And then here, what we'll do is we will have a splitter, go out of priority, and then I just need to make sure I get the right one to the right side. This side needs steel, okay. So we're gonna go up a priority here for steel. Boom, just like that. This is gonna be concrete then. Come on, there we go. Boom, that should be all the science done, I believe. No, we need lube, shoot. <laughs> I, I knew I was missing something, okay. Dang it. All right, uh, we got lube barrels right here. Not much room to get out though. Kind of an oversight on my end, but that's okay. And we're gonna run out of freaking belts here. So we're just gonna rely on the bots to build it. Um, this is gonna come down here. Okay, and then we need this to go like right here, I think. We'll go belt in, right? This is gonna unbarrel lube. Go underground like that. And then we need a stack guy. Stack guy, I don't think I've ever called it a guy before. Stack inserter going out there. And then finally, the last thing we need to do is deal with the contaminated cosmic water. So that's gonna come down here, just like this, okay. Just like that, and then we're just gonna do that, very nice. And that should be everything. And then we do have to deal with this actual cosmic water, like getting a train set up for it and everything. But um, in terms of science, I think that that is all we are going to do today. It ended up taking way longer than I expected it to. Um, but we actually have science working now. And I'm hoping that this doesn't back up. I don't think it will. It shouldn't. But I do need to keep an eye on that just in case it does. Um, may have to route like half to this side and half to that side. I just don't know exactly how it's gonna work. But, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be picking it up at the moment. Oh, but that's also because I threw a ton of iridium in these buildings, so it's still working through all of that. So once it works through all of the extra iridium, I think that this will start to filter out, right? Like it should start to pick the iridium up at some point. But we've got all of the tech cards now for um, material science. So that means that next time what we can do is pretty quickly get done the actual packs after the catalogs. Um, we're not gonna deal with insight just yet because insight, well actually we do need to deal with insight <laughs> because we need it for the science pack. But um, we're not going to be adding it to the experiments just yet. Once we um, unlock the next tier of um, experiments, then we'll start adding it to all the experiments for the significant data. But in the meantime, you know, we'll just do what we need to. And yeah, looking good. Things are things are happening. Science is slowly but surely getting done. I do have a little bit of work to do on figuring out exactly why it's not always. Um, going, but that's um, a matter probably for off camera. So thank you guys for joining me for this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying um, and you know, we got lots going on here. So look forward to seeing you soon. Have a good one.